This is Sexy Funny Raw, where we chat all about the world of sex, from dating and relationships all the way to the adult industry itself. I'm Sylvia Sage, and this is my Porn Spective, answering all the questions you weren't even brave enough to ask Google. Get ready, because Sexy Funny Raw starts now. What's up, guys? I am Sylvia Sage. This is my uh, co-host and producer, Mr. Alexander, and welcome back to another episode of Sexy, Funny, Raw. Woo! I was gonna say, <laughs> I where just waited for me to say woo. I'm so excited about our topic today. I know. <laughs> I'm actually really excited about our topic today too because we have two amazing dilfs with us today, and we're going to explore the world of what it's like to be a dilf, a dad. I'd like to fuck. Do you know, and some people still don't know what MILF and DILF mean. I'm like, That's what, so what silly. planet are you from? The yeah. first time I heard MILF was on American Pie, and it was Jennifer Coolidge playing Stifler's mom. That's the first time I ever heard of the term. Where, well, I think where that's did where MILF most come from? people, I think okay. that's where most people found it out, and I think they kind of came up with it, and then they kind of, it just like ran with a, you know, What's it called? Like the Urban Dictionary. And yeah. now it's, but it wasn't yeah. like a term in the 60s? Like, what, what, uh, what? where did it start? I think Mrs. Robinson was a term in the 60s. Like, oh, yeah. Being called a Mrs. Truth. Robinson. So that's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Doris Day wasn't like, I'm a milk. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> what was Mrs. But. Roper? Mrs. Roper? Yeah. She was loose. You knew that. You knew what, she wasn't wearing anything under that, you know. She was a lady girl. Yes. Oh, yes. Lady girl. And her husband was gay. We know that. Oh, was he? Mr. I mean, he seemed, he was like, oh my, Jack. You know? I don't know who we're talking about. Oh, because you're too young. Oh, it was all I'm about sorry. The I was raised on the oh, The captains were the, t- the kicker. Oh, yep. Okay. Yeah. Three's company. Oh, yeah. Three's company. I know And they three's were like company. the horny old neighbors that you know that they were like <laughs> swinging and keys yeah. in the bowl and the whole bitch. Oh, keys in the bowl. <laughs> yeah. I like that game. Too familiar. <laughs> keys in the bowl. Just <laughs> now with the keyless entry, you're like, oh, I have a Tesla. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, I want to say a big thank you to uh, both CyberSocket and oh my god, I'm literally so losing my mind. And Exotica for uh, being our. Why can't I speak today? Where are my words for being our? What are the words I'm looking for? Our presenting sponsors. Sponsors. Woo-hoo. Jesus, it's been a very, very long few days for me. Because you've been traveling I've been all traveling around. I don't know what time so zone much. You I didn't are. even know what day it was today. Somebody asked me what day it was, and I was like, "It's Monday." And they're like, "No, it's Tuesday." And I was like, "Ah, oh, man, Why'd I have no me? idea what's going on." <laughs> yeah, I literally am so like, I'm just like, okay, we have to do these things to this as to what's happening today. But so. when you own your own empire and you know you do your marketing, Ooh. like your booking, all that. The, there is never a day off for you. No, there really isn't a day off. And if there is, it's just a recovery day where I just like zone everything out and I don't even get on social media. I don't do anything and I just like zone it. You just clean. Like, well, that too. <laughs> yeah. Or just like sit on my couch and I don't shower. I, you know, I like brush my teeth. Maybe like I just sit and just, and just order all the things on Grubhub. And There's an OnlyFans for that too. Uh, there, probably there probably is. is. Yeah. I should probably yeah. put a little camera in the corner and just it's let a, them it's watch my Cam does on the off day. Yeah, <laughs> but I want to talk about Natural this real, real, real fast. Two of my favorite um, OnlyFans, just for fans performers. Yeah, they're into this new thing, and it's it's a fetish, like you said, called gaining. And they're trying to gain as much weight as they can, and they're getting huge. And they're like rubbing their bellies. They're still all muscle, so it's not like okay, so it's not unhealthy. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you gain that much, I'm talking like (laughs) I'm so healthy. (laughs) No, but they're not like they're not just like eating brownies and chocolate. No, it's not like some of that like 600 pound woman fetish type thing. It's like steaks. But it's this weird sexual fetish, and it's a. About gaining as much as they can, seeing the belly swell. They're skewing the to the bear swell. audience. But it's oh, so weird. They're gathering more followers. It's like you're not yeah. Christian Bale. Like just yeah. stick yeah. to what you know. It's got, they're going method. They're I going mean, method to bears. You got to switch it up. You got to keep things interesting. You know. I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, so let me go ahead and introduce <laughs> first guest. We get very, uh, we get very sidetracked. Is what we do. At least I do. I know for that is. For sure. So uh, I would like to welcome uh, Tommy Pistol. Tommy is one of my favorite performers in the adult industry. I love working with this man. I love working alongside this man. He's one of the funniest people I have ever met. Uh, Tommy, as a New Yorker who started performing in 2005, his first movie uh, was with Joanna Angel at BurningAngel.com. He has won numerous awards throughout his career for Xbiz and AVN. He's best known for his acting accomplishments and has become some of the adult industry's most recognizable leading man. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, he has the first male talent in two decades to host <laughs> the AVN Awards in 2015. Oh, my God, Tommy. It is honestly so impressive what you've been able to do in the span of your career. Isn't it? I mean, and you are on so many memes. It's also just <laughs> hilarious. Like, because you are, and I don't mean this in like a, a bad way. I mean it in the most loving way possible. You're just like the normal dude who no one would in a million years go, that guy's a porn star. But meanwhile, you have banged hundreds if not thousands, thousands of beautiful thousands. women there, there is that one meme and you're in front of the car and you're dressed like a carpool dad and your yeah. pants are baggy and you're wearing like a gap shirt and you're like you would not believe it but he has fucked more women than anybody else in the world ever will and he's yes. just like ah shucks yeah. <laughs> i guess i did yeah <laughs> but you are a real dilf also you're a real yes. dad in real life and you obviously play stepdaddy to everyone so and there. At least once yeah. a week. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I said, just to remind me in case yeah. I don't. You had forget. a scene right before you came here today. Yeah. 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 I, I wasn't. Fresh off the dad. set. I was a manager. Oh, were you a oh, manager man. today? I had a massage pal. Oh, good. So you good, know good. how that went. Yeah. Was your employee <laughs> doing bad things? It was her first day. Okay. And, you know, yeah. she got in 15 minutes early and we mm. didn't open for another 90. So I was yeah. like, Hey, all this free time. Right, get all the you know first day jitters out and just work on me. Yeah, oh yeah, makes yeah. perfect sense. Yeah, <laughs> the only thing I hate about massage scenes is they only massage you for like two minutes and then you have to have sex. I'm like, can't we do like a thirty minute yeah, warm up she was or like something? Rubbing my like... back, she's like, wow, you got a lot of knots, and I was like, you can work. On <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it sounds like not. a legit place. <laughs> yeah, it I was. Like a legit. <laughs> it was just like the yeah. the like softest baby hands. Like, oh, I feel that lump there. I was like, you could work it. Put Get an in elbow there. In, right? <laughs> But, yeah. but instead, you just had to have sex with her. Yeah, I was, was like, yeah. well, forget the actual lump in my back. Just work on my boner. <laughs> it's right. okay. But I have to ask, you have done so many different genres <laughs> and scenes. What's the strangest scene that you shot up to set? You're like, oh. you want me to what? Oh, fuck. That's, uh, that, for Tommy, I know for a fact is such a hard question because everyone utilizes the fact that he doesn't and, give a fuck and will do whatever and you very ask him to. very theatrical and cinematic in his yeah. horror films yeah. and... Uh, to, to be honest, at this point, like, I haven't turned away anything. <laughs> that I, Have you I, ever I, done I, almost bye? anything? Nice. No, no, I have. I mean, if if double, if you've D, brushed it. Like, you brushed past it. And like yeah. double vag. If uh, yeah, I've rubbed dicks all day. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's part of the thing. But yeah. like, but you wouldn't do like a bi scene. Uh no, I, I am not mm -hmm. at that point yet. Yeah. But on my OnlyFans, <laughs> you can see a lot of stuff on there that you don't see anywhere else. Yeah. And it's just that I'm at a point in my life where, you know, I'm 45 mm -hmm. and 17 years doing this. And I'm yeah. still like, what do I like? Because I'm getting kind of bored. All right. <laughs> you know, so. Well, Jack and I have a list of things you <laughs> can try. <laughs> A whole new genre for it. Can we go to a commercial? <laughs> so, no, Let's like, shoot one right now. <laughs> Make it the minute-long yeah. commercial. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do, like, butt play on my OnlyFans yeah, and stuff like sure. that. You know, yeah. and it's, it's, but it's also out of. That, Alexander won't even do that. No, so. no, nothing near. Nope, <laughs> no. nope. I want to pretend it's not even I'm there. I'm not even, like, at <laughs> that point, up. like, I like it. <laughs> yeah. The moment I'm doing it, but it was like. And that's like literally like for a few minutes. Yeah. If I had to do it for like 40 minutes with someone else behind me, like. Pounding your ass. Yeah. I, yeah. No, I would fucking Different tap story. out. Like, yeah. No, it's just like. Yeah. Uh, I go my length. Like, yeah. I, you know, I got a decent sized dildo that I use. And nice. I'm fine with it. Yeah. But I was like, anything more or harder. Yeah. Uh, I would cry. I'd be like, oh, <laughs> oh like, get me out of here. <laughs> well, it's funny because we, we were talking on the uh, on the previous episode about how gender fluidity and performers are now, you know, being uh, encouraged to film with trans performers and non-binary performers. Have you felt that pressure in the straight? You know, I, I actually had a conversation with my girlfriend about this, and I was like, because they are beautiful, they are attractive. Yes. I mean, the thought had to cross my mind, and because I have been doing that, like, on my OnlyFans, I was mm -hmm. like, hmm, I was thinking about it. And like, and she was like, well, we, we were having an honest conversation about it, and she her reaction was, 
just by the look on your face, like you don't seem sure. Comfortable. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, I guess maybe not feeling pressure really, but it's being talked like, about. It is I, being talked yeah. about. Like, yeah. I don't want to. Uh, it feels weird because it's like uh, obviously I'm never judging anybody that mm-hmm. does that, but it's like I have to also being a dad and mm-hmm. stuff. Like, there's things that I still question if I really do. If I don't want to do want anything. It or you're doing I it for the shock value. And like ten percent sure that I want to do it. Right. And it's just one of those things that sticks with me, bothers me, and makes me question. Mm-hmm. You know, like. What would the outcome be years later with them? I like, get that. There's still I'm. I feel like I got a lot on my plate that yeah. I'm gonna have to have that talk with. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's it's just one of those things. And uh, obviously, uh, kudos to all the guys in our industry because I know when there I there have started, been a few that start stepped out recently. Yeah, when I yeah. started, like people that did do that, like totally got blackballed. Yep. And it was like that's not yeah. you know. But now it's like you're brave, and it's yeah. like, well, what? Yeah, <laughs> it's the yeah. same people. Like, okay with it now, yeah. but like maybe they had to feel the pressure and a lot of people and mm-hmm. their agents or girls being like, I don't care, I'm going to do it anyway. Or maybe you know? the opposite. Maybe they didn't feel the pressure, and now that they have their OnlyFans, which is their own platform, like maybe they're explore. going, I, yeah, I can yeah. do things I want to do now. Well, I, I just think, I mean, I'm sure you can agree, the industry was such like. Very hard Run against on this like dinosaur. It old was ways, like this is the way. There was a straight <laughs> side and a gay yeah, side, yeah, yeah, and yeah, they you know. didn't mesh. Yeah, you know? but it had its own too. The gay yes. side had its own too. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, and here's totally. the thing for men.com you were you were the first woman to appear mm-hmm. in any of the videos, mm-hmm. um, and you were just like on the side. You weren't. Oh, you, you filmed it with Avrad. Yes. Who's who's known as his macho macho mm-hmm. top and they got so much flack. I think they even took the the scene down for a little bit. What? Yeah. Because the gays, we were so like, how dare like no, you're supposed to be gay, just us. Like can't we have enough? Yeah. But now it's so fluid and now there's bi scenes all over the place. Yeah. There's mm-hmm. trans scenes and it's very prevalent and performers are now expected. Yeah. Um, you know, if you got back into like studio work, you would probably be asked, Hey Oh no, trust. It's happened. Yeah. And it's it's the thing is it's there's been a societal shift. Mm-hmm. That it it was not, it was frowned upon in both in both genres. Mm-hmm. It really mm-hmm. was. And it was like you can't do bi, or you're like skewing something else, and you're no longer authentic. And it's like, or you can't do trans, or you can't, you know, it's like all these other things. And and you know, basically, it came down to the guys are going fuck you. I'm going to do it anyway because I'm going right. to get my swirl on, and I want I want to tap into get a different market. <laughs> you do, you know. It's like you know, it's all right, ride the pony. But uh, but it's like literally, you know, no harm, no one's hurting, no one. You know, we're not you know saving lives here, but yeah. it's like we're. You know, I mean, we are saving some lives. We, well, yeah. Yeah, and marriages. I'd and be on the streets selling yeah. drugs, but instead I'm home watching porn. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to go shoot up a place, but man, once I cranked that out, like, oh, I was Feel like, much I, better. Just, I just couldn't find the right scene yeah. on Pornhub, so I was there forever. I cummed on my favorite shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, was, I had my outfit set out for the murder, and now I can't. Ah. I do hate that, though, when you're in the mood to watch a performer or a certain scenario, and you log on to either Pornhub or whatever, and you spend so much time searching your you're like, ah, forget you it. You lost it. Yes. Yeah, I know exactly <laughs> what you mean. And mom walks in, and yeah. then it's like a thing. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes if I want to keep myself excited and I am searching, I'll just turn the vibrator on and just like put it in between my legs. So just I just like have a little color. something, and I'm like, okay, okay, you just scroll, scroll, scroll find it. You know? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, I that uh, scenario where I'm like, if I come across old stuff, I was like, God, what, what, what am I fucking eating that month? <laughs> right. Why did I do that? Right. We were talking about like that on the last turtle. episode. Yes. Jesus Christ. So do you watch all of your porn? No. 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 Not I'll watch trailers. Yeah. Even on well, even on like Twitter, like um seeing it it does get to me like because like at a certain time on Twitter it's just like dicks and pussy yes. and oh. yeah. everything. And it's like even that gets like I don't want to see that. Yeah. Like I understand it's just that. like I I do you do need a break. Yes. And like you get desensitized. Yeah. yeah. And it's you know, so like even stuff I'm in like I'll repost it like once or twice mm-hmm. and stuff but I'm not like constantly like during I... the pandemic I was just like nobody like I started 
talking like more comedy or yes. political or whatever because I was like nobody I don't have to keep posting dick pictures yes. of my dick all like, the time like, yeah. like, like just a reminder like. we get, yeah. It. Yeah. We get like, it yeah yeah I actually quit posting or even retweeting videos if they had sex in them or even just like photos of sexual acts because I'm like go to my OnlyFans right. for I'll that do don't it. give it away yeah. for free yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah I mean I know the company expects you to do that so you'll give like the first one a when couple. it drops yeah. yeah but I'm not gonna be like no yeah six months in like who it is again yeah. like eh, i did yeah. my part yeah, you paid exactly. me you made money yeah. like now come now on, we're move done on. Yeah. like hire me again and yeah I'll repost yeah else. exactly <laughs> yeah um, I have to introduce Jack, yes, by the I'm way. Sorry. Here we I was like, oh. Carried away. So we, <laughs> we got the straight uh, side taken care of. So I'm going to introduce from my side of the porn world. Mm. Uh, uh, in real life, Jack has literally been, uh, well, a jack of all trades. From the mental health field, he moved into a career in doing special events, owning his, his own production company for 30 years. He's gone to culinary school. He's a state <gasps> certified trainer, a member of the Royal Horticulture Society with a master's status in floral design. That's, that's the gay part. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, he's also the 10th single gay man to adopt in California. <gasps> Um, and also, after uh, preparing his body to pr uh, compete with the Memorial Day Physique competition at Muscle Beach in Venice, uh, his pictures were kind of all over the place, and he was asked to do porn. He shot his first scene at age 50, and in the what? year and a half that followed, a just a year and a half, he has shot over uh, 90 scenes uh, with over 58 DVD titles, and there's new scenes that they keep releasing. All the time. What's a Honestly. DVD? Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Um, he's been a go-go dancer. He was awarded three leather titles, uh, nominated for various porn industry awards, and became a grandfather, by the way. So he is a gilf. <gasps> you are. Yeah. He yeah. currently has a real Just estate title alone. That's oh it. my Just god, yeah. Yeah. that's crazy! I, I can't even believe it. I'm yeah. okay. I'm sorry. Sorry. I can't. No, uh, I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm just shocked. I'm just in shock. That's all. Um, he's been married for 18 years to the oh, same husband, um, and three years to their second husband. Mm -hmm. So he is an actual <gasps> living thruple, and they do real estate in Palm like Springs, by the way. Sighting. I, I love know. it. I know, right? Um, and he's currently the writer of Jack On, which is the new Sex in the City meets uh, Daddy Life uh, for Cybersocket.com. So that's yes. Jack Dyer. That's me. Yes, hey. I love it, Jack. I love so many things I just heard in there. Um, <laughs> Let it roll. I girl. know, I know, I know. So. I, I don't know if I want to address the thruple first or if I want to ad address the first uh, 10 gay men to adopt because that's so phenomenal, well, that came first. by the way. Okay, uh, so first, that came first. And I was a single dad. No, yeah, really? So wow. I adopted her as a single man. Which so I feel like that's even more that was unheard of. Bigger, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. it's the whole you know pedophile thing. There was like there was laws everywhere, mm. and I initially was, I do understand that though. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. No, totally, yes. totally. But a woman, a single woman, could adopt have, anywhere yeah, in the world, right? And right. has always and, been available. And that she that. wouldn't also there's any chance she could also be a pedophile. Let's Absolutely. be honest. Yeah. Well, yeah. Absolutely. Say, homosexuality does yeah. not mean pedophilia. Right. It does not mean that right. at all. It's two separate worlds. Exactly. Well, they think sex worker in general means pedophilia yeah the amount of people who i'm like oh i say i'm a sex worker and they're like oh the trafficking and i was like it's that they're <laughs> the whole, they're <laughs> so different worlds like, like have you seen my apartment not, i'm good <laughs> yeah they're not no one's trafficking we need better pr that's yes, all. we just need, we need better, better pr, PR. Yeah, you're so it. right that's really what it is you're so, so single dad sorry. single dad yeah so i adopted uh an ethnic child i'm not gonna say because okay. i don't want to like doesn't matter her. right um and i adopted a girl oh, I because love because at the time it was like i wanted a child to be emotional yes. and boys hold it in when they're younger and I just wanted her to like get it out. Oh, I love it. It was a lot that she was not my color and it was a lot that, you know, mm -hmm. she's got a gay dad. So. Yes. Yeah, and so that was and, it was tough. And obviously now she's thriving and fabulous. She's doing well. And she's doing great. I love she's it. She's a new mommy. And it's oh all my good. god, that is so That's incredible! Amazing. Yeah, That's cool. congrats. Let's go. Cool. But <laughs> okay, okay, but I have to ask. You know, the opportunity to be a porn star at fifty. And mm. when I read that you were only in the industry for a year and a half, I was mm -hmm. dumbfounded because I, yeah. you know, before we became friends, I knew you. I've seen all of your scenes, and like I said, there seems to be new scenes, even though you haven't right. really done that. But the decision to be like, okay, well, I have a child, and 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 you, Tommy, as well. It's like. Being a parent in real life and then having this porn life, that's got to be some weird duality. And that must have been a, a, an interesting choice to make. Well, she's an adult. And she was an adult. So it's very different. You know, mm -hmm. it's like it's not like when you have little kids and it's like, oh, do I really want to do that and have to explain mm -hmm. that? It's like I, in her eyes, I'm doing my best your life. Child. I'm living my best life. I'm mm -hmm. just I didn't have to do it. And mm -hmm. I still don't have to do it. It was just something that I was it was a bucket list item. Yeah, and the reason why you're so good of, at it, by the way. Well, thank you. <laughs> he was committed. Um, 
<laughs> Still am. Uh, but the reason why it sort of took off was I was an ingenue. There was no such thing as a daddy hitting the scene at 50 years old. Mm -hmm. and that, you know, Because daddies were 30-year-olds being right. called yes. daddies. And, and they grew, like yourself, they're growing grew into it. it. You're yeah. growing into yeah. it. And so, it, but it was like, I hit the ground <laughs> in a genre that was like completely like people grew into. And so I'm, you know, there with all these other guys and it's like, who's this guy all of a sudden? And he's doing scenes with all of them. You know, yeah. it's like, and that was it. And another thing was like, I treated it like a business. Yes. And I was, I did my research and I mm -hmm. pursued partners. Mm -hmm. So, you know, being in your own business and mm -hmm. having to push yourself and mm -hmm. we, we have a lot of hats yes. when, we're, when this industry is happening and you, you know, you may get an agent and you may do that, but they're only going to do so much. Yeah. hundred uh, percent. And <laughs> agents are not magical. Yeah. No, they're not. No, no, no. <laughs> and once you tap all their resources, no, it's no. like, wah, wah, where do you yeah. go now? You yeah. know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. That's how it, it, it happened really quickly. And now, now there's a couple of new ones. There's Lance Charger. There's, um, oh my God, there's, there's a couple more. But I mean, there are no gay porn historians that I'm aware of other than Google. And uh, I think. And my left hand. And, and, <laughs> and, and, and I, I do believe I was one of the first that came in hitting the ground running. Like yeah. That. Well, it's funny it. because we see people that have left the industry for mm -hmm. 10, 15 years and now mm -hmm. they're starting come to come back. back full force. Like Colton Ford is now, right. now he has an OnlyFans. But and he didn't like, start a daddy. He wasn't, he didn't no, start as a daddy. No, no but no, that's no. what I'm saying is, is that they're yeah. coming back. Yeah. And you matured literally in the in, industry. Yes, correct. Yeah. You yeah. didn't start as a daddy either. You didn't no, start no, as no. a real daddy um, or as a daddy in Yeah, porn. I got in in 2005 and I was in my late 20s and when I moved out to LA to direct for Naughty America in 2007, uh, that's when I met my my wife ex. Mm -hmm. But uh, we had our first kid, and it was not planned. Yeah, and, <laughs> and she was, was industry as well. She uh, she was out at the time. Oh, she was. She okay. was done at the time. But um, you know, it was like I moved out here. I was like from New York, and I was directing, and I was uh, learning to be a. I was also training to be a stuntman because I just Which did you the still right kind of do, don't you? A little or no? Every now and then. Okay. I mean if I can, but okay. I mean I met I was able to meet the right people and I was training with them and then, you know, I was like, Oh my god, my life's going great and directing and stunts and training with professionals and like I was like I'm doing everything, so let me uh go get my uh skydiving license, <laughs> right? I was like, I'm gonna do it all. And like so, my first solo jump, I came in too hard and I broke my ankle. Oh my well, god! Yeah, so that sucked. <laughs> and then, uh, and then when I came home that night, uh, she told me that she was pregnant. Oh I was like, shit! Wow. You're like, wow, wow. wow. Yeah. That's a lot of stress. That's when the massage scene could have yeah. done. Real well. <laughs> she was like, I gotta tell you something. I was like, what? She's like, I don't know how to say it. I was like, come on. Yeah, I had it quite a day. Yeah. You know. And then Just she's like, get it out. Yeah. She's like, I'm pregnant. And I was like. Oh, I was like, this doesn't <laughs> see that's so unique bad. on the straight side. That doesn't happen to our side. Yeah, yeah. doesn't happen. To <laughs> like they I have an STD, really, and you're like, okay, okay. That's, that's what's going we on. can control that. Yeah. We can control that. <laughs> but um, that was a huge thing because yeah. obviously I was, I felt like I'm in this position where I'm kind of doing everything I wanted, and it was a really. Did you feel like when you had kids that you were going to have to leave adult, or did you never think that? What well, um. I always, being this is the job I have, like yeah. I got into this a little late, I mm -hmm. would say, and I've worked many jobs. I started working when I was 16 and mm -hmm. I was like, right now this job is paying me more than I ever made. Mm -hmm. The hours are amazing. Yeah. Like I'm living in California. Like I'm, I, I never, I, kids weren't even a, a, a thought, mm -hmm. but once uh, they were in my life, I was like, I didn't think I had to leave. Just the <clears throat> the burden and the worry of what happens when people find out. You know, it's a lot to take yeah. on because people fucking suck. Yeah, and, and they and will hate you for the littlest mm -hmm. reason. And it's not like Jack, who had a grown child. Right, you were going to have to take these kids to preschool drop off. You right. know, yeah. you're now with have social to deal media with and everything, every, yeah. everything's out there. Yeah, PTA yeah. moms are going to. And, judge and, and those situations happen yeah. where you know wow. somebody came up to my ex and she was like i know what your husband does and, and she told me and i was like well that means she's fucking watching watching yes. right. so, i know what you do but yeah right. I know exactly. what you did you enjoy yeah. it yeah. i know what you watch yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, and it's just it it still bothers me because it's affecting them it 
I had to like I have two boys, so yeah. my oldest I had a talk with already. Oh, when, you did? Yeah, a few years ago, and I I broke down crying. Aww. Like he tried mm. telling me, like I picked him up from school, and he's like, "Hey, I, I googled your name." And I was like, <gasps> "Oh!" <laughs> I was like, uh, "Get in the car, we gotta go home." Oh. Do you want pizza, ice cream, toys? I like I can't talk about this right now. So when I finally was like, "All right, I'm ready to do this," I like was talking to his mom like hey i want to have the talk and mm -hmm. she's like oh he knows he brought it up to me i was like what are you talking about like she's like he's known for like a year and i was oh. like why didn't anyone tell me right. and like you i had started to come out bawling. Yeah. imagine yeah. that yeah. Yeah. don't know anything about that <laughs> yeah. yeah i started How hard for you i was just it was like the mo like that's my that was my biggest fear yeah that like that would make everything that i thought i was doing right right like crumble because mm. and he was uh he, you know i took him out we had lunch uh and i said what i do and mm. everything and he's like i don't care i love you and I, I was like you understand what i'm saying before <laughs> like, <laughs> and he's like i love you no matter what you do oh, and i okay. was just like oh that's awesome that's it. you know and this job has given me all the time that I need to yeah. be a dad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I would never change. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah. It does not matter because I have got to watch them grow yeah. and be there for them. Yeah. So anybody want to come with any mm -hmm. kind of like sarcasm or right. bullshit, and it's just like, I, I, it does not yep. matter. Yep. What if your son said, hey, I want to get into the business? What would you say? You know, at that point, if, if he wants to, I would... I, I would support him. I'm not going to be like, yeah. Do I was going to yeah. be like, there's more options because yeah. this job, it's there's an expiration date. There's, there is. Unless you start a business and go about it right way. Like, there's right. nothing waiting mm -hmm. for you at the end. Like, mm -hmm. exactly he's in, right. he is so fucking smart, mm -hmm. smarter than I ever was. And, like, I would be like, you would be wasting your brain. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, do <laughs> not. Plus, like, it's going to be a completely different industry then. Yeah. If, it's, if evolving it's still around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but here's the thing. It's becoming, it be I think, around. more mainstream. Yeah. That's like, oh, yeah. I do this, and then I own a landscape company, and then I right. do this. Yeah. yeah it, it's just, I mean, obviously, if I saw a bigger picture, if I was making more when I started, I would have invested different or went mm -hmm. about things in a different way because, yeah, I'm very well known and stuff, but, like, it's still, you know, if it dries up, like, I still have to look for more right, work. Mm -hmm. It's exactly. not like I'm only fan is raking in dough or anything. It's still like this is my job. And, and outside of the expiration date, I will add, I, I I don't have children, obviously, but I think what I would worry about the most is the mental I, the mental stress that goes into being a porn star because of how the rest of the world views and treats you, especially as a female. It may be different mm -hmm. for males. You may have more of a uplifting um, outlook from your uh, fans or not fans. But as a female, I feel like I'm constantly being degraded not or sure. made to told or I'm less than, you shame. know? And yeah. so, yeah. Slut shaming, yeah. Yeah, so it's very much like I wouldn't want it for my goddaughter or something like that because I'm like, it's so much mental wear and tear sure. where I'm constantly having to like build myself back up. And I have a gratitude journal I write in almost every day where I tell myself I'm smart and I tell myself I'm driven. It's never, oh, you're beautiful or you're sexy. It's I tell myself the qualities that the people aren't telling me because right. I hear beautiful and sexy but what I want to hear is you're charismatic you're loving you're caring and you're and worthy the, you're worthy that's a huge one being worthy you know so I mm -hmm. mentally I f would feel for a child going through that right well and that is an interesting point you make I think in the gay well I'm, I'm just talking from my experience yes. I have plenty of gay uh, porn star friends it's always considered like oh hot he's a porn star yeah. it's never like oh he's a porn star yeah. and you do real estate yeah. so I mean right. it's like you know do you want an open house or do you want an open house oh, right. you know? <laughs> yeah. but they've, they've asked <laughs> <laughs> but have, have you ever felt like some of these themes like being slut shamed I don't think it's oh, yeah. as oh really oh absolutely oh, you know and whenever you and also I, I think I found it more dramatic going in when I did because I had established friendships. I had a chosen family. I had my whole family. I had mm -hmm. all those things. And it's amazing how fast life events cut people out of your life. Oh, yeah. Even when I adopted. 
Mm. It's like I lost a ton of friends because what? they didn't want to be bothered with, oh, you got to have to get a babysitter. Uh, I have to be or, honest, when a friend of mine belt. gets married or has a kid, I'm like, okay, de friends. We're not friends. <laughs> not just We're not friends. <laughs> right? <laughs> that bitch right there. Yeah, at so, least yeah, I'm honest yeah, about yeah, it. That bitch. So, yeah, I mean, that's really what happens. And so anytime you do anything that's dramatic or not yeah. with the norm, it's going to cut out a bunch of people. Mm. And porn cut out some of the closest people in my life yeah. that I thought were going to be forever, forever people. Mm-hmm. And but they're still watching your stuff, I guarantee yes. you. Oh, I know oh, they yeah. are. I know they are. Yeah. And judging so and good. doing all their stuff. And <laughs> yeah. like, you know, and, and the thing is, is that they, they can't walk it back now. Mm-hmm. It's too late, babe. You yeah. can't walk it back. And so, and you know, how, success is the best revenge. How do your partners feel about your working in the industry? They don't mind it, okay. actually. Um, well... <laughs> I call him the husband. The okay. husband is the longevity one okay. who I've had for 18 years, and yes. then we call. This is so fascinating. I know. To me. I we know, call. I we it. call number three a 33 because he's 33 years old and he's the third. So oh, okay. 33, the third. And 33 is a great number. So thir- yeah. So when his, he turns so 34, though. If you ever read the <laughs> if you ever read the blog, I'm still waiting. It's the husband <laughs> and 33. So husband and 33. So 33 thought he could handle it. Mm. He knows Sebastian Keys from. New York, or from um, San Francisco, and so he went on one of my kink.com shoots just because he thought, oh, I'm going to go see him. It'll be super fun. Yeah. It'll be hot. Yeah, and then I fucked up, and I said something in the heat of <gasps> passion that mm-hmm. I say to him. Well, I mean, how hot? What kind of yeah. repertoire do you have? Right. And it's like, okay, yeah. it's pillow talk. Yeah. It's like, it's going to come out a different so way. Many words. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's all situation. Like, I love yeah. you. And it's like, no, I don't even no, like them. Yeah. No, it, doesn't, yeah. it wasn't yeah. I love you. It wasn't I love you, actually. It was a little more crass than that. But I'm um, just saying, but but it was, it, it like rocked his core. And it was really hard for him. It was really hard to walk back from. Huh. It really was. That's and I was interesting. Like, it's like, you know, there was there was nothing yeah, behind it. It's right. like, I, you know. Just said it, yeah. I have a very limited vocabulary when it comes uh, to this stuff. I, same. You know, you, you make it as hot as you can. You throw in what you can. Yeah. You improvise. And, yeah. And so, yeah, that's just what happened. It was not thought out. Yeah. But, yeah. So there always is some sort of jealousy, I feel like, especially in a multi-relationship relationship multi-person relationship mm-hmm. that's what i meant to say is there always some aspect of someone being upset or do you always do you feel like for the most part you do all get along as for the most part i think we are we mesh really well good. i think that that's what makes us unique mm-hmm. i think that you know 33 is a good balance for us mm-hmm. really good balance we've been together for a long long time we were open for a long long time mm-hmm. and uh i found him first and we don't talk, we had rules. We didn't talk about that. We didn't do it more than once or twice. And yeah. it was like never, never like ran it in each other's face. And yeah. I was actually doing a shoot in Florida and I get the phone call from him. He's like, oh, can we keep him? And I'm like, <gasps> what? And he goes, oh, I met this guy at a bar who says he's been here before and he <gasps> says he really liked you. And that was wow. two weeks before. And I was like, and it just happened that he, you know, skewed to both. And I was like, fantastic. I'm wow. like, this is a champagne problem. I love that. it. And he just moved right in. Yeah, very quickly, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to lie. Wow. It's Not funny. Now, do you consider yourself in a thruple or do you consider yourselves polyamorous? Thruple. Thruple. No, no, it, 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 it's gotten, I mean, as monogamous it's as it can be. Yeah, it's, yeah we're, we're invested. You know, like mm-hmm. parents and everything, everyone's invested. No, here's the thing. It's like, you know, when, when a gay guy says, oh, I'm in a throuple, you're like, oh, yeah, whatever. But like, if, if Tommy, if you were to say, oh, you know, we have a throuple relationship, it's, it's straight, it's, it's such a different reaction. It's like, yeah. Yeah. you know, it's like, oh, How's that work? Yeah. yeah. Who what? who's the wife? And who, yeah, yeah. I, can I tell just that. I still ask that about your relationship, girl. You it's like I, mm. I just think someone is always jealous. I I just would think in it, my head. I, I mean, d- I mean, it, like I love my girlfriend. We've been together. Uh, this uh, Halloween will be eight years. Yeah. And congrats. They're still, you know, we met through the industry because right. she was a cinematographer and everything. But uh, once all that changed and we started living together, like the whole thing of me doing this became like, what well, I don't want to see it. I don't want right. to talk about it. And, right. you know, it's you got to if if that I love her, I respect her. Uh, she's my best friend. And, um, you know, I'm not going to be like, well, this is how it is. So, like, you have to suck it up and blah, blah, blah. Right. Like, that doesn't help the situation. Right. So, right. if, like, we need to, like, uh, separate things, like, 
it sucks because there's a whole part of my life that like you or if you have a bad day about. at work well, or if yeah. there's politics yeah. at work it's there, like you want to be able to talk about yeah, it there, mm-hmm. I mean there's certain things it's like one how I phrase it and stuff like that and yeah. you know it's 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 not easy but like what relationship is right you know but well, I mean I, this adds well, like what's... so much baggage right but at the same time like it also like it's there's so much trust and like we have to like have with well, each and I other feel like for you guys work. in particular because at least she knows some of the industry so she knows what it is to be on set and i feel like it's harder for people who right. haven't been in that scenario to wrap their brain around it because they're like i get this question all the time they're like can you even enjoy sex with uh, someone else off of camera i'm like I mean, do chefs eat? Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay, I've asked you that though many it. times they too. Eat yeah. That's they eat hilarious. McDonald's, and so it's like it's very vanilla when you're not when you're not right. on camera, like, and it's not painful. No, but it because it's not diagonal, and you're not trying to get length. It's not on a things. desk unless yeah, you're dry humping. Yeah. 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 you can not, do it in a bed, and yeah, you can do it with bad breath. It's all good. Yeah, it's not reverse yeah. cowgirl yeah. for yeah. ten minutes, like in the yeah. like sweating my ass off right. while I'm saying shit about my mom. Give me length. Give me length. Yeah. 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 Right. It's just I like it. that. I'm not in that headspace. Yeah. I'm a great actress. Like yeah. accept it. Play right. with that. Like yeah. I am a phenomenal actress, and that's why you are a great actress. I love like the script scenes that you do in. The gate, like you do your scene and then you're out of the scene. I'm yes. like, she is really, really good. Thank you. And then, you know, what's really evident is when I see you in scenes with like other straight oh, actresses, actors. and I'm like, wow, they suck. Oh my God, you don't even know. I mean, sometimes, like, it could be as bad as like holding up a cue card for a girl to say two words and she's like, <laughs> yeah, ex- no, trust. Try, yeah. I mean, icon male, yeah. 13 pages of dialogue. Uh, this is not porn star, this is porn acting. Yeah. yeah. So I it's like, come on. That. Yeah. Yep. Oh my God. But sometimes I'm, it's just, what What did you say earlier? Sometimes, like, something about, like, you would waste your intelligence talking about your son. I'm like, I feel like that all the time when I'm <laughs> on a porn set. I'm like, oh my God, I have a college degree. Right. Like, what are we. Right. What am I doing with these idiots? <laughs> I, I finished high school yeah. and it was like a high school for kids on the verge dropping out. And I was like, I am fucking doing awesome. Yeah. I am like, I am living the fucking dream. I am fucking world popular. Like, yeah. fuck all that. Like, yeah. And to get back to the DILF thing, to get back to the DILF thing, producers want to work with DILFs because we come prepared. Yeah. We, we don't want to mm-hmm. waste your time. Yes. And none of the drama. And, oh, no. We come cleaned out, whether you're topping or you're bottoming. It doesn't right. matter. You come you're come ready to go because you never know what happens on the fly. Yeah. It could yeah. happen. Somebody doesn't perform and you got to mm-hmm. just kick it up because yep. you got 20 people watching and that's mm-hmm. how it works. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, that's why they like to work with you. You're prepared. Yep. You're shot up if you need to be shot up. You're mm-hmm. having you know you're you're groomed you're mm-hmm. you know yeah. and you've learned your lines they sent them yep. to you the day before you got it you sat there and you worked on it you did yep. the homework I, mm-hmm. you know they don't it's that's yeah. where it is i feel and, like at this point like at a certain age it's like yeah if you suck you wouldn't have been here right. already yeah. there's right. a work but, ethic yeah yes. but like when like yeah. you walk in a room like who's the last guy they're like tommy oh thank god yeah, yeah. oh fuck yeah. all right we'll get out yes I'm going to make yeah. that movie or that show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's so true, though. It really is. Are you uh, taking anything these days? Or are you still natural for the most part? <laughs> natural, my you, ass. Oh, you're not I've never natural. never been natural. No, you've never Why? been natural? Well, I, never. You know what? In the beginning, because yeah. I didn't know how to get access to that oh, stuff. Okay. But, like, look, I, uh, <laughs> yes, I, 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 I take a... So you know yeah. I take a... <laughs> I he is that a, guy. No, a we'll cocktail later. of things, okay, you know, okay. and like through as your body changes and you get yeah. older, like sometimes this works or that doesn't. But you know, I yeah, I take stuff to yeah. perform. Like I'm not, I I try to prove. I have nothing to prove to people either. I'm like, my vagina is going to be drier than shit. I'm just like, we're going to need to bring over <laughs> some lube. Like, it is yeah, not, like, yeah. do you want to see me struggle or do you want right, to see me? Right, have a good scene. Kill a scene. Yeah. Act, right. Do all this stuff yeah. and not have this fucking worry in my head yes. of like, because some shit is thrown off your thing sure. right. or something's horrible or your fucking back hurts and it's like well, I could get through it if I could just you know like right. nobody yeah. needs to know like what's really going on like there's yeah. times I went to set like and when like my marriage is falling apart and I'm like in tears oh, and like God. pulling yeah. up to the house I was like okay daddy I'm ready I'm ready let's pull out a show I'm ready yeah and it's just like pop 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 
<laughs> All right, let's go. Bite my dick. Pull my balls. All right, now we're going. Nobody knows. Nobody needs no, to know. They don't care. You know, no, if they, they ask care. me, maybe yeah. I'll spell it all yeah. out. They'll be like, yeah. oh, maybe I shouldn't have asked. Yeah. Right. But, like, I'm here to do a job. Yeah, of course. And that's what I've been doing for yeah. 17 years, yeah. a job. If I wanted to do it the other way, maybe I'd, <laughs> maybe I'd, you see me every now and then. I don't right. know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have such a lame money question, but is it like, you know, Meryl Streep now makes millions of dollars per film, whereas when she first started, no. Does that come along with time in the business? Is yes. that it's like, now you're like the star of, and I, that, all, that all comes with I think it? it hits a point where, um, well, I, I know the first, like, we're, we're, the rate I'm at now, I remember seeing, like, somebody else's check, and I was like... <laughs> That motherfucker <laughs> hangs back, chills out, right. pops in one or two, and then fucking dips. Yeah. Like I was like, mm-hmm. I am worth it. Yeah. I think it's if like I have, I'm with like I'm on one on one, one on one modelings like thing, but you know I pretty much book do alone. book myself. Yeah, you know, yeah. and like that's the agreement yeah. we have and stuff. Yeah. So like I, you know, I, I know my worth. I know right. what I've been doing for as long as I've been doing it. And, you know, I'm at a point where I was like, I should probably up it like yeah. a little right. bit more because yeah. one, a lot of reliable people in this industry and we with the acting side, you mm-hmm. know, they are drifting away or going yeah. up. And it's like, well, if I'm still here, like, why shouldn't I? Yeah. Right. Like, why should I fucking keep killing myself or yeah. putting in all this work to like not make what I'm Agreed. worth. Yeah, it's funny when you say you saw somebody else's check. I've done that before, too. I'm like, saw, their, saw somebody else's check, and I was like, oh, oh, okay, so I'm going to raise my shit. Okay, so yeah, I make more money now. Cool, cool. Right. <laughs> exactly. I don't want to offend because the fear is like, if I go too high, then I'll lose work. And but then... that's not true, though. Yeah. No, that's not well, true. Well, and they're yeah. paying for the name Tommy Pistol. Of like, they're paying for the name Sage. Yeah. Sage. Your brand. Or, or, or Jack Dyer. I mean, Your that brand. is the brand. Yeah. And your fans know if it's if Tommy Pistol's in it, it's going to be a good yeah. film yeah. or it's going to be a good scene. And I feel like when people hire you, they are hiring you for that, for your acting or for whatever to crazy thing they're going to have you right. do, you yeah. know? <laughs> I you're reliable. That on time. Yeah. You're reliable. Yeah. 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 yeah, no, and 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 I think that's a and that's something for a lot of performers because some, you know, as you think this job like people don't see it as like a job and stuff right. and then you start thinking that too and it's like yep. you question like am i worth this should yeah. i ask for more like i'm worried at times and i was like no fuck this yeah. like right. i think i've hit a point of respect yeah that yeah you could fucking throw in an extra too and there's right. a lot like, of money being on. made in the industry in a fucking too. sandwich yeah. come yeah. on yeah <laughs> exactly yeah, this whole fear of um, like, oh, the porn's not making anything. But it was like, you just shot like five days for the whole month, right. like, every day, Monday through And then through they Friday. slice it and dice it and make it into other films that they're making Your more money. Your scenes are still yeah. coming like, out. My scenes are coming out. I haven't shot a scene in a year. Wow. Yeah, and they're like, still coming out. And I'm still getting like award new. nominations. Yeah. yeah. That's so crazy. <laughs> Wait, no. you haven't shot in a whole year? Mm-hmm. Since COVID. Since I, I stepped back. February last year. Oh wow! Okay. So more than well, more than a year now. To do just your own stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. But and actually to pull away and to okay. work the real estate thing too. Oh, okay. Um, I kind of got what I needed out of it, yeah. and it was you know like I said, I wasn't in it for anything other than to cover a bucket list, and I was like, right. yeah, I've been there, done that. Right. And yeah. um, you know, I I could say it now because it's out already, but I never did a cum shot on camera ever. Never what? Once. How would you get away with that? But Maybe like, I'm, I'm, 50. Ah. I'm fifty. I'm well. I'm fifty three now. So it's like, you know, they were. They, you know, what do you want? Dust. <laughs> you know, ah. it's like, what do you want? And the first scene I did <laughs> yeah. was with Treasure Island. And Treasure oh, yeah. Island, you know, it's like, God, God, God. And it yeah. was like, yeah. fifteen guys on twins. Oh, and my it was, God. and it was like, I was praying for somebody that to like really go for it before me, so I could just get right in there. Like, yeah. And it was like, yeah, yeah look good. But then it was like it set a, it set a standard. And yeah. so. This is where the acting comes in, kids. Yeah. And I know how to fake, fake it yeah. nine ways. Oh, interesting. And I've gotten award nominations for Cum Shot. Oh, my so, God. Which is that's hysterical. Amazing. Because as a viewer, it's like the Albert yeah. Hitchcock. What? You know, when you film Psycho, it's there fantasy. was no, yeah. It's fantasy. <laughs> that's this is crazy. acting, porn acting. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of producers don't want to know that. But I also didn't make the money everybody else did because 
you know, but it's all reliable. They can come in. Right. They know that they we're going to do it. Yeah. We know in advance. Right. You can book it. You can schedule it. I do try mix when I'm on camera because right. it's like six hours of being hard. That's just not human. Yeah, it's not. And, yeah. and so, you know, you do that and it's like, okay, well, then you, you, you either get one thing or the other. And most guys, most guys anyway, it's like right. if you shoot that thing up, you're not going to get the rest of it. It's just <laughs> kind of like, what do you yeah. want you today? Yeah. You, yeah. you either shoot that part first, <laughs> yeah. you know, which some do. That's amazing. And then they go into the trimix situation and then it all works. But, you know. And then you have to go home to two guys. <laughs> and then you yeah. go home to oh two guys. God, yeah. that blows like, leave my me mind alone. Right now. Yeah. And we cuddle. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. thought I, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Like, <laughs> Cause I had to do like 20 page script, two scenes yeah. in all one day. Yeah. yeah. And coming around like two to three in the morning, like we we're fucking on this bed. It was like heavy, like fucking comforters. And I was just so overheated. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Like I had to stand hot, outside. You can't do it. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. You just no, can't. no. It's I like... had to throw cold water on yeah, my face. Need... And I was just like, oh, Wait. my God, I got nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and but I your just, dick is still hard, but you have no cum. No, everything was like, oh, my body was like, fuck you. Oh, like, okay. what are you doing? You're dehydrated yeah. already. Like, what yeah. are you doing? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Stop. Right. And I just needed to take a break. Yeah. But I was like, like, people ask for me, can you do two scenes in a day? And I, was I like, don't. I feel like my calves are going to burst. Yeah. Right. Like, I'm yeah. going to float. Or yeah. something. Like, yeah. But I did it, but I was like, this is not good. Like, yeah. I cannot drive home. No. Like, I feel like I'm going to fucking vomit. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You may be able to do two scenes in a day, but then there's your week. Week and a half. Yeah, I don't. I don't do. I there's don't a do recovery period that has to happen. You know, when you're older, it's so, sorry about it, but yeah. there is. I'm Latino. We're ready to go in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Live your best life. No, that same day, I had a scene the next day, and I mm -hmm. was just like, I like walk in. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so like fucking already Depleted. psyching myself yeah. out. Yeah. But you know, and then I pull it off, and I was like, oh, I guess I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> like I know I'm lying to myself or something. Oh, yeah. Like, it's a mental thing. It's a mental. It's yeah. it's more mental. Like I've never uh, did a shot, mm -hmm. only pills. But um, even the pills, like if your brain isn't there, mm -hmm. it's they don't. It's a that's a psychological. Well, the thing. shot's mental too. Is it? it so they just is. shoot it into your into your literally penis. into oh, your God. penis. Yeah. If I can't even. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So imagine you know. And, and the worst you, parts are like. And the thing no, is, no, no. you got to get it in the right spot, or you Ooh, like, God. or you Doesn't burst the blood vessel, and then it you know looks black and blue. So oh, got, I didn't know that oh, was yeah. a thing. I am horrified. I'm never oh, gonna yeah. watch porn. Or Wait, do you put it you? into your vein? You know, you don't put it into the vein. You put it next to the vein. You don't put Ugh. it in the vein because the vein will burst and then it'll Because <gasps> when you get hard, you know, everything engorges. And if it's got a hole in it, it's going everywhere. You know? I can't. Yeah. I'm in pain right now. I I'm wonder how many people have done that wrong. Many. Oh, yeah. I would and love to hear the emergency room stories on frequently. that. Yeah. No, I mean, it never really makes it there, frankly. I mean, everybody on set, they're aware of it. And they're not. I mean, this is the difference here. Again, right. Again. Professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. So they're like, you know. Take care of that. We'll come back in a minute. Yeah. It's just oh, like wow. you know when somebody didn't clean up properly. They're like, oh, I'm gonna take care of we that. We have tonight. people who shoot their dicks, don't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I oh, think yeah. you. Uh, I think the longer you, you do it, so. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I didn't realize that um, when I was like watching porn, but I I think the way the dick starts to like curve when it like automatically starts to go up is oh. that that's how I always. I thought start. that was just a natural curve of their penis. I mean, it's, yeah. I don't know, certain things I've seen, but the gorge thing is like a definitely. But, but the thing is, it's not like morning wood. Like when you have yeah. morning wood, it's like. Strong. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Tonk. You know, yeah. but it's, it's not like that. When you do it, it's hard, but it's not as, you know, Strong. full. And yeah. so some people actually pump also. Mm -hmm. So they'll do that yeah. and then they pump to make it even bigger, which is like. Wait, There's so like, much work wait, happening. Pump or, I was gonna say yeah. which which kind of pump? Like a vacuum pump. Vacuum pump. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. because yeah. we have people who have a built-in pump. Oh yeah, yeah. There's that and too. then you pump it like from the side, yeah. and it just like built in. Like they have, they have like balloons in for their ED. Deck. Like yeah. they basically, insert it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. This and you balloon. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna become mm -hmm. a monk in a mountain by myself. <laughs> yeah, and it literally you pump it until it like inflates like a tire. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's sexy. Yeah. But I mean, so they're not doing Trimex then. They're like, you know, they're Ottawa. But, they but that doesn't like, mean that your arousal goes up, though. It just means you have no. a hard dick. Right. It just right. means you're good to go whenever. Right. Like, you can then, shoot the scene. But then that also is like a question as like a performer of like, well, if I want to do this 
for X more amount of years. Right. And right. You hit a point like, because what's waiting for you? Not too many things if you didn't plan ahead. You know, right, that's the right, thought right, that goes right. through. So I can, I, I mean, I have ever, anybody who wants to do whatever to do the job, to right. do it. If you're not hurting people right. while you're doing it, then who the fuck am I to yeah, say that? I but but that. Trimex takes a toll. So it does. It does? I'm sure all of yeah. it kind of takes a toll on your it's, body at some point. But it's way, also in your head, too. It's like, can you get it up without it? And it's uh, like a thing. And Yeah. You know. And you don't want to be on set and right. not be the reliable guy because right. then you don't get booked Absolutely. again. Absolutely. So yeah, and that you get a few strikes, but eventually yeah. the phone call starts. It is Stop. definitely mm-hmm. the hardest on the men. I will say that, it, especially if you don't do well and uh, right out of the gate, you're not right. coming back. People just, it's not. They don't have the time to waste on right. you figuring it out. Well, yeah. and you, you've been on the other side too, waiting for a guy to yes. do a shot so you can relax and go home. The amount of times where I have just had to been like. I mean, I'm just sucking flaccid dick forever and ever and ever. It's like, it's like a night in Palm like, Springs. I'm like, what do you that mean? That was just, well, it is you know, Tuesday, like, so yeah. Yeah, it's just like, I mean, I'm I'm one of the people on set who I try and be helpful to my male. I'm not ever the one who's like, oh, do it yourself. I'm usually like, what can I do? How yeah. can I help? Right. Like, Thank you, you know, for like, doing yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing worse than someone's right. like... Do you need help? I was like, right. yeah. And I was just like, okay. And like, well, when they're angry at you, it's like, <laughs> God bless yeah. the fluffer who tries. Yeah, you know, just I do God try. Bless. Do fluffers yeah. still exist? Because I, that's a job the, that I could actually do. No, they they're don't. The ta- they they're don't? the other talent. No. They nice. got downsized to the talent. That's yeah. 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 I mean, there used to be an appointed fluffer, right? Well, now it's now it's a scene that's written. I don't. I, it. Yeah. Never been on anything I've Normally ever been on. it's just like take your phone to the bathroom and yes. go get your dick card and come or back. Or take your phone right out when everybody's there and then right. it was like they're have you know, the crew's having conversations. And then everyone's yeah. talking. It's like, yeah. like the focus yeah. is like uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I feel yeah. so bad when you're trying I to have get a to leave, on Yeah, set. I have yeah. to leave a room and yeah. like the last time that I really struggled, like Everything was cool, and then when it came to sex, it was just like, Ooh. yeah. And I was like, whoa, this I could feel whatever you're going through right now. Yeah. And it's like not. I'm like ah. So <laughs> I was in the other room, and I was looking up for her, and they sent her in there, I guess to, to like, help. help. Yeah. But she literally just like kneeled next to me. Oh god. And I was just like, oh god. She's hey, like on her phone. She's hey, like on Instagram. Yeah. And she's wow. like, yeah. They were like. You, they told me to like come in and hang out, and I was like, "You don't have to." Uh, really? Yeah. yeah. I was like, "Unless you're gonna like do yeah. something." I'm looking at grandma porn right now. Yeah. You're not really helping me. Yeah. Like I, <laughs> well, and it almost like feels rapey at that point. Like right. it feels they told stupid. Me to come in nothing here and more. Help you. Like, there is what? nothing more embarrassing. Yeah. Than being limp. <laughs> And naked and just having people wait around. <laughs> Everyone's talking and cracking jokes, yeah. and you're like, Pfft. "That was my quince." And there's crew, <laughs> and there's crew, and the guys that just did the scene before, and the guys are ready to yeah. do the scene after, and craft service. Dude and who and did the yeah. scene before is yeah. hanging out. Like, yeah. I'll yeah, stick around, on. you know, just in case. You're like, yeah, right. ah, <laughs> that just is give me so anything true. right now yeah. so I can finish this and get the fuck out. Right. Exactly. That is true. I have so heard, I've sucks. heard guys say that. You know, I'll just stick around in case you guys need me. And then they're just waiting, like yeah. smoking pot outside, like yeah, waiting like for the you, guy to fail. You can't help but like, oh, yeah. he's just like, I can use that extra <laughs> yeah. 700, 800. <laughs> It's like fucking cocksucker. Yeah, God. yeah, it's so true. I'll cancel my Uber and just, you know, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> it happens to everybody, Uber. man. <laughs> happens to everybody, man. Next he time. He pre-dialed. Next time you'll get him. Okay. But, 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 the, but the best thing a guy to do. I never got even here. I know. I know. <laughs> Let's play a game. Yeah. The best thing a guy can do in that situation is just bow out. Yeah. Like, yeah. get your time, yeah. but like. You're not, or learn how to do it nine different ways and get awards for it. That's what yeah. you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, there's that. It, I mean, I God, me crazy. Man, I fucking fox, wish yeah. they it. would let us get away with that. No time. Okay. <laughs> Damn it, you guys. We, we have to do a Dilf part two. I know. Like, I'm like, we you really guys do. were we, such we literally didn't even get guest. <laughs> we didn't touch a single thing on here because we're just rambling and talking. See, with Dilfs you guys. are pros. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's okay. film a scene right, right now. now. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, definitely before we head out, uh, go ahead and tell everyone, uh, Tommy, we'll start with you, where they can find you. Oh, you can find me on Twitter at, uh, at Tommy Pistol. <laughs> uh, you can find me on Instagram, official underscore pistol underscore 
page and you can find my only that's why fans. i couldn't find your instagram yeah it was, i just yeah. oh. <laughs> I was like, I'll, I'll confuse Instagram so they don't delete me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they don't hey, know what it is. is. Yeah. Does he like guns? I don't know. <laughs> what is it? Yeah. Um, and you can on my OnlyFans, it's mm. at Tommy Pistol. So. Beautiful. Yeah. And and Jack for the people. For the people. For the children. Because <laughs> um, they need it. Uh, Twitter uh, is Jack Dyer X One. And Instagram, which I am live tomorrow, oh, nice. all day, doing what you want to know, Wednesdays. Love it. Every Wednesday. That is the dot Jack Dyer. And uh, OnlyFans is off track right now just to build up demand. There so you go. there you go. No, there's plenty out there. They can just, you know. Hold savor off. it. Hold they off. can savor it. Oh, and also coming. read about his throuple life and his oh, yeah. weekly sex life uh, at cybersocket.com. Yeah. Yep. On every, Jack On. Yes. Every other week, there's oh, a yeah. new episode. All right, I'm and the thank Carrie you. Bradshaw. Thank you to my Alexander for being <laughs> oh, here so with me fun. and making it such a great show. All right, guys, that's it for this week. If you like what you saw, click subscribe. And until next time, adios, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.